Hello, beautiful people. I am your travel agent. Hope everybody is doing well. By the way, this video has closed captions available in more than 16 languages. I'm currently in Sevilla, Spain, a fascinating and romantic city. There is plenty to do here, especially if you are a history lover, then Spain is definitely the place to be. After having breakfast, I decided to take a stroll. When I travel in my free time, I love to explore new places by walking without a plan and seeing where it takes me. I enjoy being surprised by what I discover. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and click the notification bell. If you are watching on TikTok, don't forget to follow. Please stay with me until the end of the video. Mistakenly, I thought I was in the Parque de Maria Luisa, which is the biggest park in Sevilla, but it is actually Jardín de Murillo. Can anyone tell me what is this monument represent? Okay, I just found out. This monument, locally known as Monumento a Cristobal Colon, commemorate Cristobal Columbus. These two pillars, topped by a lion and a sailboat, symbolize Columbus' journey to the Americas. The lion represent power while the sailboat symbolized Columbus' three ships, the Nina, Pinta, and Santa Maria, which he used during his first voyage. The Nina and the Pinta were smaller caravels, while the Santa Maria was larger. In 1492, Columbus used these ships to sail across the Atlantic Ocean. Columbus believed that by sailing west across the Atlantic Ocean, he could reach India. Instead, he discovered the Americas. Here in Spain, Columbus is often viewed as a hero and an important figure in Spanish history. In recent years in the United States, uh, there has been a growing movement to stop celebrating Christopher Columbus Day. And there is several factors to drive this movement. The negative impact of Columbus' arrival in the Americas they believe Columbus' action, including enslavement, exploitation, and violence against indigenous people and the population, should not be celebrated. This is Plaza de España, is one of the Sevilla's most iconic landmarks, with stunning architecture and historical significance. Let's go inside and find out what is going on. Built in 1928 for the Ibero-American Exposition of 1929, the plaza is an excellent example of Renaissance revival style with Moorish influences, reflecting Spain's diverse cultural heritage. The plaza is semi-circular in shape with a central building featuring a series of bridges spanning canal, which represent the four ancient kingdoms of Spain. And these kingdoms are Castilla, Aragon, Navarra, and Leon. 
However, it's important to note that the historical unification of Spain involved more than these four kingdoms, including the kingdoms of Granada and others. But these four are among the most prominent in the history of Spain. So, what is inside the buildings? Is nothing but a series of offices and government departments. For example, some part of the complex are government and administrative offices. There are areas specially designated for cultural events or exhibitions. Sometimes a street dancer perform flamenco dances. If you are lucky, you might be able to catch a performance. Don't forget to tip them. This ceramic, also known as Azulejos, the plaza is a masterpiece of architectural artistry with intricate ceramic tile works. Around the semicircular Plaza de España, there are 48 alcoves, representing each province of Spain. Each alcove display a unique design painted on ceramic to represent a historical scene or emblematic moment from the province it symbolizes. Featuring the province's coat of arms or the shield and the map of the province. If you come to Sevilla any time in your life, you definitely want to come to Plaza de España. Plaza de España is tells you about the Spanish power, their architectural design, and is still standing here in a good condition. Love this place. Lots of tourists here because nobody want to miss. Incredible place, really. Nice. Huge. Plaza de España features in a movies like Lawrence of Arabia and Star Wars Episode 2. It's a beautiful plaza that reflects Sevilla's rich history. People from all over the world come to appreciate its breathtaking architectural beauty. The canal often referred to as the moat that runs along the parameter surrounding the plaza. The canal itself is approximately 515 meters, about 1,690 feet long. This unique feature allows visitors to rent boats and row around the plaza. Plaza de España is a beautiful place that can be explored on foot or by renting a small boat 
to navigate the canal. Additionally, the plaza is surrounded by a beautiful park, which makes it a popular spot for both tourists and locals to relax and enjoy. This video is about to end. Thank you for watching. If you have any travel related questions, please feel free to contact me. My information is down below in the comment section.